Well, a research diver from Colchester spends his free time exploring the bottom of Lake Champlain, but recently Gary Lefebvre found two 18-foot wheels that once moved a 201-year-old steamboat. Local 44's Jolie Sherman met with Lefebvre and an archaeologist to find out more. Gary and his wife Ellen put 2,000 miles on their research vessel behind me every year, which is equipped with sonar technology. Gary says there are over 300 shipwrecks at the bottom of Lake Champlain, where he found two paddle wheels weighing several thousand pounds. We do 60 to 100 dives per year. And one day in late August, Gary Lefebvre stumbled across wheels belonging to Steamboat Phoenix, first launched in 1815. But in 1819, the ship caught on fire and fell to the bottom. And that's one thing that these paddle wheels show us is that the intensity of the fire was pretty, pretty massive. That was Chris Sabick, Director of Research and Archaeology at the Lake Champlain Maritime Museum in Virgens, where the Phoenix was built. Chris told me once Gary located the first wheel, he was curious about the other. So Gary went back out on the water and found the second wheel, about 100 yards away. As I moved the ROV around, I said, Chris, you're not going to believe this, but there's a lot of burned timbers on this one as well as the first one. And he got pretty excited. Gary says these wheels were found 180 to 190 feet below the water, prompting assistance from technical divers. Chris says the wheels will remain in Lake Champlain for further examination, along with many other historical structures. Shipwrecks from the French and Indian War, the Revolutionary War, the War of 1812, plus the extensive commercial period of the lake's history of which the steamboats are certainly a part. Gary began these efforts in 2010 and says when he's out on the water, he's not only enjoying the Adirondacks, but what lies below. And, uh, since then, we picked up over 3,000 3, targets, and we're just starting to identify some of those in our spare time, which is pretty interesting. Gary will continue looking for ships and artifacts at the bottom of Lake Champlain, which are said to be connected to significant wars and historical events. Reporting in Colchester, Jolie Sherman, Local 44 News.